My name is James Grandison. I graduated from Rose Bay Secondary College and I am performing Run For Cover by David Sanborn for this year's Encore performance. I chose that because in the last year or two, I got quite into slap bass, which is a pretty, you know, funky, jazzy style of, of bass playing since I'm a bass guitarist. And I haven't done that too much in the last few years. So I thought it was a great challenge to try play that piece for my HSC. And I chose it only a few months before my elective. Uh, I, I changed it from another piece I did. So it was quite difficult to learn, you know, six and a half minutes of, of music in, in a few months. But I chose it because it's really my favorite style of music. My major influences come from classical, even so classical jazz, you know, jazz fusion and funk. The piece I'm performing for Encore is with my actual band outside of school. So rehearsing this, you know, rehearsing Run For Cover this piece was very easy because we already rehearse at least once a week together. And so uh, every time we had a rehearsal, we would run the song and we wouldn't stop running until we had it perfect. And we just kept doing that every rehearsal. Well, the best advice I was given was to worry about the small things. I, th I think this is what I thought about the most was to worry about all the small parts of each of our pieces. So a lot of us would usually see the whole piece as one bit of music. But after doing each of my electives and then getting the feedback returned to me, I realized I had to break each piece up into segments, so five second segments even, and work on that one day and then the next, the next day, and gradually make the whole song happen instead of practicing the whole song and then doing that over and over. You're, you're playing the songs you're playing because you want to, you're not forced to, uh, you know, you chose the subject and you just really enjoy what you're playing. So it's important to remember that uh, because nerves can really take hold, it's important to remember why you're doing it in the first place. You're not doing it to be judged, you're doing it because you love it. The teacher probably plays the most important role <laughs> for a lot of people. My teacher was the one I would go to to ask, should I make this change in the song? And if so, can I play it to you? Can I see what you think? And, you know, and knowing that he would give me the harsh feedback I may need, because not everyone will tell you what you need to change. The strategies I used to help James prepare for his performances included the regular check-ins at school, the regular fortnightly workshops where he performed for his class and received teacher and his peer feedback, and then just that one-on-one -on -one time where James and I would sit and discuss how can we elevate this piece, how can we manipulate the concepts of music to really wow these HSC examiners, and how can we demonstrate his ability on the bass guitar. I believe James' performance was chosen for Encore through to his ability to really think and critically think about what a performance should be and how to present a bass guitar as a forefront instrument. So we think traditionally bass is at the back of the band, they're holding the groove and the rhythm, but when talking to James, it's how can we elevate that? How can we, how can we bring the bass guitar to the forefront? We're lucky in music where we can have the ability to choose our electives, whether that is performance, musicology, or composition. Um, really guiding the students as early as we can in year 11 to start thinking about what their choices and what their strengths are to inform them of their HSC pieces. Apart from that, we like to recall all of our past uh, assessments in year 11 and 12. This way we can demonstrate what you know a band six, a band five, or what a band four would look like at the HSC level. So being selected for this year's Encore was incredibly special. It was like a, just a trophy for all the work that I put in, which was, which was plenty as every music student does, but I, I devoted most of my year to perfecting these songs. And so when I received that back, all the effort was worthwhile. That's the main thing. It just shows that all the minutes and hours I put in were all going towards something special.